Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and we have got a Firewall Ultra news video which is nice to see especially when we're just one week out. This one is a blog post from Sony which details the new PvE mode which is called Exfil which is short for Exfiltrate. So I'm just going to go over the details, see what's new, any improvements over the last one it seems like there's a lot. So revealing first details on new Firewall Ultra PvE mode Exfil. And this is from David Jagno, Strategic Communications Manager, First Contact Entertainment. So, includes support for co-op with up to four players available at launch this August. So anyone who played Firewall Zero Hour remembers there was a co-op mode in Firewall Zero Hour that also supported four players, but it was somewhat bare bones. You know, I think if most people were into the contracts mode, didn't really pay much attention to the co-op mode unless they wanted to maybe, I don't know learn the maps a bit better or try out new weapons or whatever. So today we're pumped to reveal one of the biggest evolutions to the Firewall franchise by sharing new details on Firewall Ultra's player versus environment game mode, Exfil, short for Exfiltration. This brand new PvE game mode aims to challenge players in a group across every map that is available in-game to offer an unprecedented level of variety and excitement to the Firewall experience. In this blog, and of course it's a blog again, we can't get videos for whatever reason, but it's a blog, we'll take what we can get. Uh, we're going to break down the new Xfil mode and why we're so excited for everyone to check it out when Firewall Ultra launches exclusively for PSVR 2 August 24th, that is one week away. Less now, I think. And here we have a, this is new, the GIF is new, but it is like literally two seconds of gameplay in a GIF, maybe three seconds if we're being generous. You can see a few contractors moving around, you get an idea of what the flashlights look like and you know, not much else. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that map is oil rig as well, so we're still seeing the same few maps being shown off, we still haven't got a new one yet. The Firewall franchise is well known in VR for its pulse-pounding gameplay without respawns, intense firefights across an assortment of maps and deep customization and progression. All those pillars are carried into to the new PvE Exfil mode, but this time with a focus on challenging AI enemies. So big focus on AI and the improvement of AI over what was in Firewall Zero Hour. So what is Exfil mode? In Exfil, you and up to three other players will set out on missions to secure data on three laptops. So there's the first big change, uh, which is a big well, which is a big change from the single laptop format of our PvP mode contracts. So in, P in contracts, it remains the one laptop, but in this mode, it's three laptops. We've designed each map to accommodate both PvE and PvP game modes, so you're always uncovering new pathways through levels and finding great flanking spots to take out enemies. So there won't be unique maps for PvE; they will be the same ones you're using in PvP. When you first load into a mission in Xfil, you'll hack into one of two available access points to reveal the laptop locations and then make your plan of attack. Will you try to split up to cover more ground as a squad or will you stick together to cover each other's backs? Do you plan to sneak through corridors and try to remain undetected for as long as possible? So stealth is viable it seems. Or will you roll up guns blazing to wage war? The choice is yours since every level in Xfil is like a miniature playground with a wide assortment of options and possible scenarios. And then we get another new GIF, this one of The Office, again one that we already knew was coming. But we've never seen this before, it's got like a new Social Makers type logo that wasn't in the original. So I don't know if it's just like an update to the background or maybe it's a new area of the map. Once the laptops are revealed, they will appear at spawn points from a dynamic set of locations. So when you replay levels, it's not repetitive. So they're not going to be in the same spot every time they're going to move around. It remains to be seen now, of course, how many locations there will be. But it's nice that they're putting a bit of thoughts into that, into replayability. That sounds promising. You'll need to be careful in this mode though, because the AI patrols are deadly. At the start of a mission, the enemy units won't know your location, so they'll simply be preoccupied patrolling around the map. Once you initiate a hack and start firefights, that's when things get more intense. My laptop is just going crazy right now. Reinforcements equipped with various weapons will dynamically converge on your position from around the map in unique ways to keep you on your toes. So they'll keep using unique and dynamic. They're using that a lot, and that's very encouraging for replayability. AI enemies also have an assortment of gadgets at their disposal, similar to players, with the ability to throw grenades, lay traps, breach rooms by kicking down doors, and even deploy C4 charges. These aren't your run-of-the-mill AI bots that just run into the line of fire blindly. They take cover, they flank you, and react to your moves intelligently. So if this is all true, if this works like they're saying, it will be a significant leap over what was in 
firewall zero hour and it might even pull people away from the pvp mode because it could could be a popular thing if you manage to hack all three laptops and secure the intel, this is when things escalate. You and your squad must make it to the exfil zone and hunker down to survive until your evacuation completes. So once you get to the zone, you have to wait for the extraction to complete and this is when you're under attack. Uh, so there's multiple steps to this. This is the hardest part of the match as enemies converge in your location and give you everything they've got. For players that manage to make it out alive, They'll be rewarded with in-game currency, which is called crypto, and hopefully they'll have completed a few Black Road Dealer assignments as well. More on that later. So there's two interesting things here. The first thing is that for players that manage to make it out alive, they get rewarded, which kind of implies that the ones who don't make it out alive, the ones who die during the mission, maybe they get nothing. And depending on how long it goes on, you know, that'll be interesting to see how people react to that. Maybe they'll still get something, I don't know. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see how the reward system works for that. And then the next thing is this Black Road Dealer assignment, which they'll go into more later, they say. However, if you had to guess, I imagine it's going to be like many objectives, you know, something maybe similar to the contracts or the operations that we had in the original. Maybe you get 10 headshots or something like that. And maybe you can complete an assignment, complete guess uh, for bonuses or whatever. That would be my guess. And then here in the next GIF, you can see we're back to the oil rig map again, where they're making the extraction. Now, interestingly, they don't say that the extraction zones are dynamic or whatever. So it sounds like it could be the same zone on each map, which would make sense, uh, for exa example, for this map to have like a helipad and maybe a helicopter comes in, who knows? But you can see that the squad is making their way to the de designated zone. It's like highlighted in the yellow square, it seems. And there is like crates and stuff lying around there. So there is some cover there for when, presumably, waves of AI come to stop them from getting away. So Firewall Ultra is designed as the kind of game you can keep coming back to again and again over time on your PS Viewer 2 and consistently find something fresh and new to do and see. As a live service title, that means constant updates with new content such as maps, weapons and contractors, as well as redesigns for locations like the shooting range and safe house lobby environment. So for those wondering what do they mean by redesigns for locations, well, if you remember Firewall Zero Hour was like for holidays and stuff like that, they would decorate the menus and the lobbies and whatnot to have, you know, match those themes. So it looks like they're planning on doing something similar, maybe not just for holidays, I don't know. We want this to feel like a living, breathing world that evolves over time. Just like the world of Firewall Ultra is five years into the future from the previous Firewall title, as time goes on, Firewall Ultra itself will also see changes. The wait is almost over since Firewall Ultra launches exclusively for PSVR 2 on August 24th, etc, etc, etc. Pre-orders are live now, so you can be ready to dive in to the all-new PvE Exfil mode to put your skills to the test or squad up for 4v4 PvP matches. One thing to know is if you have pre-ordered the game, like I did, you can actually preload it now since yesterday, so you can have it ready to go for day one. And that's the end of that information. I'm a bit, bit, a bit disappointed there was no trailer to go along with the Exfil announcement to see is in action. We just got a few gifts, sadly. But having said that, we're just six days away now, so I'm not too butthurt over that either. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked what you're hearing about Exfil mode, is it something you're going to try out now? Maybe you weren't interested in it before, but now that you're hearing it's kind of more fleshed out, it's more, it's more depth to us, maybe, especially with these Black Road dealer contracts and stuff. If you're interested in Firewall content or PSVR 2 content in general, then be sure to hit like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube and shite. Before I end the video, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him out at the link in the description. And also let me give a very special thank you to all my channel members who are helping keep this channel going. They are Purple Unicorn Ga, Muzz, Dead Eye Dan, I've never seen such behavior in the war room before, Chopped PPE, Mr. 777, No One Knows, Movemaster Mick, Alvo World League Commentator Cass, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, and Crumb. Thank you very much for your support. If you want to support the channel as well, you can hit the join button beneath the video and become a member too for exclusive perks, benefits, all that kind of usual YouTube and shit, you know how it is. With that, I will end the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Please stay nice and...